Let's go to Canada now. Fort McMurray officials say it may be years before the city returns to anything resembling normal, estimating at least a fifth of homes have been destroyed by wildfires which have now been burning for a week. The blaze now covers an area of 1,600 square kilometres and although the change in weather has slowed its progress, it's still too dangerous for residents to return. In a moment we'll hear from Brian Stewart who's standing on a highway just outside Fort, Fort McMurray but first here's our reporter Alex Ashton. A week on, and the fire that forced almost 90,000 people from their homes has left Fort McMurray, looking like a scene from Armageddon. At least 1,600 buildings have been razed, leaving just scorched earth and hot spots behind. James and Candace Riley had watched residents of neighbouring suburbs evacuate when they too were told to leave. They had just minutes to grab what they could and were on their way out of town when fire took their home of 20 years. The couple watch as the smoke alarm sounds, a window shatters and plumes of ashy smoke pour into their living room. Not even the fish tank is spared. The response to the fire has been massive. More than 500 firefighters are still battling the blaze around Fort McMurray with the help of 15 helicopters and 14 air tankers. One firefighter described the fire as a beast. I don't consider myself a hero. But I've met more heroes in this experience than I've ever thought existed. Sorry. More than 1,400 firefighters and 130 helicopters continue to fight dozens of other blazes across the province. The fire slowed over the weekend, moving away from Fort McMurray, threatening the neighbouring province of Saskatchewan. The Royal Canadian Armed Forces helped remaining residents evacuate to the cities of Calgary and Edmonton, where they say they can be supported long term. For Checkpoint, Alex Ashton. Well, Brian Stewart is a reporter with CBC National News. Uh, we got hold of her this afternoon. She was at a cordon on a highway just out of Fort McMurray. I spoke to her via Skype video. Well, where, where the fire is, and I'll do a little bit of a walk here, hopefully this works, it's down this road. So it's about 20 kilometres down this road is the city of Fort McMurray, and that's where the fire tore through earlier this week. Now, right now, it, it's 160,000 hectares, and, and to give you some perspective on that, that's bigger than Toronto, Canada, which is Canada, uh, Toronto's Canada's largest city. So this is a massive fire, but the good news is that this fire didn't double in size this weekend, and that's something that firefighters were really afraid of, that the fire could could just you know really explode and and head towards uh, the northeast of this province and possibly cross into the next province Saskatchewan well that didn't happen and and that's because of the weather the weather is cooled down considerably and that and even got a little bit of rain this morning not enough rain to make a huge difference but just enough rain to to, to you know really kind of give firefighters the upper edge there are more than 500 of them now uh, they've come here from all across Canada working to put out this fire and uh, and and it looks like they're they are starting to make progress because at least it's not growing. Briar, have people been back into Fort McMurray? Is there some initial assessment of the damage being made? Well, the, the thing right now, which officials say, is there was there was an initial assessment a few days ago where they said more than 1,600 homes and buildings. But that was an estimate from uh, Wednesday, I believe. So they haven't given any kind of updated number. So it will likely be higher than that. The question is just how much higher. Brian Stewart, who's a reporter with CBC, she was joining us by Skype uh, from the cordon as close to Fort McMurray as people who aren't emergency services are able to go.